Hi guys and welcome back to another video. First off, I apologise that this video is late. Um, I tried to film one and edit one yesterday and just all the files were completely corrupted and none of them wanted to work. So, I am having to film and edit this video today and get it up today for you guys. So, I do apologise that it is late but these things happen I can't help it so anyway as the title suggests from this video we are doing a full face of makeup using makeup revolution products only so the whole revolution brand in general um, and those are the only products we are using today I ordered a load of makeup from revolution at the start of lockdown that's how long it's taken me to do this video guys um and i've been itching to try out some of these products over the past couple of weeks that i thought you know what let's just get this video done so i can use these products on a general basis um so yeah i am combining the new products that i brought with some of the products i already own um to create a makeup look for you guys so if you want to see what I come up with, then by all means, keep on watching. So to start off with, I am going in with the Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in the shade F3. Um, yeah. So this foundation, I don't actually use a lot anymore, but it used to be my go-to foundation. And it glides on the skin so easily, it's unbelievable. Um, blending, it blends out pretty well and it gives a good coverage as well. Um, so I don't know why I stopped using this. I guess it's because I got a new foundation and that just seemed to be my go-to. Um, also, I tend not to use the stick foundations very often, um, just because some are so difficult to get on the skin. Um, but this one isn't the case. So, yeah. So, for concealer, I have obviously two concealers. I have my go-to, which is the Fast Base Concealer in the shade C0.5. And then I have the new ones, which... Um, you have three cream shades and one powder shade. So I am thinking I'm going to go in with my go-to and then take the powder from this palette and set my under eye. That's what I'm going to do. So this one is a twisty um, concealer. And then I'm going to go in to this new palette and I always hate it when they put tape on new palettes because I can never get it off. So I'm going to go into the new palette and take the powder shade and just pop that under my eye I mean that powder hasn't really changed the colour of my concealer which is good it's gone on so easily and there is no kickback in the pan at all which is always a positive. So on to bronzer and we are going into one really old palette. Like the lid has broken off of mine. Um, but this is the Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit in the shade Ultra Fair C01. 
So this is what it looks like. You've got contour, highlight and blush. And as you can tell, I have used my contour in this palette so much. This was my go-to for contour before I got proper contour kits or contour palettes or bronzers or anything like that. So... So on to blush and I'm going to be using the new I Heart Revolution Soft Shimmer Blusher in the shade Strawberry. Now it has taken me a good five minutes to even get the tape off this to be able to use it. Um, but opening it up and taking it, taking it out if I can. They really don't want you to get into this blusher. This is what it looks like, um, so it is a bright pink on the back, like the casing. Opening it up, this is what it looks like guys, it is super cute. So this strawberry is actually shimmer, I don't know whether the camera shows you that. And then the outside pink is matte. So, we shall see what we get with this, I have just, oh. The pickup is insane. Oh. I mean, it is very pigmented. You don't need a lot of it. Yeah, you, you definitely don't need a lot of this. Um, so that is super pigmented, which is okay. I wasn't expecting it. And I mean, I'm not saying pigmentation is a bad thing, but in blush, it can send your face a little bit insane and looking like something from the 80s. So I am going to try and blend this blush down. But I, I'm not mad at that. Like, I am perfect for 80s looks, if that's what you're going for. Um, definitely something I am probably going to use, but just use less of each time. So yeah. On to highlight and this is a palette I already owned so it's the Revolution Pro 4K highlighter palette in the shade Rose Gold. So you get four shades in this, you can obviously tell which one I have used the most and which one I am going to use today. So I am taking this shade here, I always take blush on my fingers. And just pop that on the high points of my face. Um, so on to brows. And I am using the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. So this is something I already owned. Um, and just taking an angled brush. I am going to fill in my... So, brows all done, let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. And I haven't even taken the film off of this yet. That's how new these products are. Like, I haven't touched them for a good few months. And now we are. So, these are the shades in the palette you've got. Four shimmer shades and the rest are matte and yeah let's see what look we can create so i've got all my makeup brushes let's 
see what we can do. So, I am thinking, which is probably not a wise idea, I'm thinking I am going to start off by going in with the shade black. Um, let's take a bit of that. I'm going to stamp that into my crease and out of the corner. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Smoked, which is this one here. I'm just going to blend this black shade out. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Cryptic. And again, blend that black out. So then for the lid, I'm going to go in with this shade called Midnight, which is more of a sparkly black. Just take a flat brush. like so and then next to that I am going to take the shade shaded which is this first shade here just pop that next to it with that shade and then next to that shade, I am taking this shade called Sparkle, which is the brightest shade in this palette. Um, and I'm just going to pop that next to Shaded. And then finally, for my actual inner corner, I am going to take the shade Mist, which is this pure white shade. So, for my lower lash line, I am going to take the shade Deep, which is this really nice plum purple shade. Just pop that along my lower lash line. So yeah, I'm taking that shade black and just also popping that along my lower lash line. Just to blend the top in with the bottom. And then the final step is I'm going to take this shade called Mystery and I am going to pop that just on the inner corner of the lower lash line just to bring in a little bit of sparkle to the bottom lash line so i'm going to repeat this whole eye look on the other eye and then i'm going to be back so guys i have done the other eye i've cleaned up the edges and i've applied mascara because i don't have a revolution mascara so finally, it is just the lips and to top this whole gothic smoky look off, I am going to be using the Retro Luxe Matte Lip Kit in the shade Magnificent. Um... So guys, that is this look complete. This lip colour is to die for. I love this colour and it is definitely something that I'm going to use at Halloween. 
um, so you will see it later on in the year probably. But that is a full face of makeup using purely Makeup Revolution products. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, comment down below, share and subscribe. All products will be listed down below along with those that weren't Makeup Revolution that I did off camera. Um, if you want me to test out any more brands, by all means comment down below and I will be sure to do that. Um, and yeah, that is it. I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys!